Hey guys, what's up? It's Minitef, and after long wait, I am finally going to show you how to make a craft bucket server on Minecraft 1.0 or above. Now, what a craft bucket server is, is actually a more customizable server so you can add mods and such to the server. Um, this video will not cover how to add mods or have someone connect because my 15 minute limit for YouTube. So um, those will be separate. I do have a video already about joining. If you you know, don't post in the comments, my friend can't connect or whatever, because I have a video on it. Just go check it out. I'll have a link in the description below. I usually do a Q&A if you have questions or stuff, because I don't have time to answer every single one of you. So, let's get started. It's very, very, very similar, almost identical to making a Minecraft server. But, just in case you were a little confused, I'm going to show you anyway. So, I have a couple links in the description. Uh, they're all here. Don't worry about it. Uh, people have asked me why do you use Hamachi? Why don't you port forward? Because I can't. My router is too old. It's incapable of port forwarding. I have like a seven year old router. It's pretty bad. I can't port forward. I would show you, but I can't. Um, so we're going to have to use Hamachi here. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, be the first link in the description, and scroll down and find the build history. Make sure you click the latest one. And also, make sure it says success. Um, it, if it's red up here, that means it's a failure. Just get make sure it's blue. And make sure it's compatible right here. It says 1.0.0. So that means it's compatible with Minecraft 1.0. So go ahead and click on that, and it should download. Give it a few seconds. Now, while you're waiting for that, you might as well just go ahead and download Hamachi. Just check this box and download the unmanaged version. Make sure you do that. It will, um, after you know that you download this, it will do an install. Just go ahead and go through with all the default settings, and we'll get to Hamachi later. Also, another thing you want to do is go to the link in the description. When you click it, it should take you already halfway down the page. But if not, you can scroll to the top, scroll down, and find macOS instructions, and find this code right here. We're going to need this code to start up the server. So just go ahead and copy the whole thing. It's a little funky when you're trying to copy it. So again, download the latest success build of CraftBucket. Make sure it's compatible. It says right there. Download and install the unmanaged version of Hamachi. And go to the link in the description on the Minecraft wiki and copy this code right here. Now that's a lot already, but it needs to be done. So, um... Next thing you're going to want to do is go to your downloads or wherever you save the file and just put it somewhere where you can easily find it. Now we're going to right click, make it make a new folder, and just go ahead and name that server or whatever. It Honestly, it doesn't matter, but I like server. So go ahead and put the craftbucket.jar into the server folder. Open that up, and you're going to need to rename this craftbucket.jar just because it's going to simplify a lot of things in just just do it trust me just rename it to craftbucket.jar otherwise it won't work going to have a pre-made folder in the description just in case you know you're having trouble doing this and just to make it easier but there are some steps you're going to need to do so um this will be included in the pre-made folder but I'll show you how to do it anyway you're going to need to open up text edit you can search it in spotlight or you can find it in your applications so once you have text edit up Go ahead and paste the code we copied before on the Minecraft wiki right here. Copy this code and paste it into the text edit. So once you have that, you're going to need to make sure right here this says craftbucket.jar. Craftbucket.jar. Bam. Make sure that it says craftbucket.jar. Now the reason I don't just have the code in the description is because for, so, for some reason when you copy and paste it from the description it just a little weird so just gonna keep that the same and then go ahead and do format make plain text and then say okay and then do file save as and name this start dot command it honestly doesn't matter what you name it, just have dot .command at the end and save it to your desktop and keep all this the same. And then drag this into the server folder. You can also drag it right there. And then I'm going to highlight this in red just so 
because this is how you start the server you click on this but we're not done yet so don't click on it yet I'm just gonna highlight in red just to make it simpler so next we need to give this file permission to actually start and run the server right here so we're gonna open up terminal you can search it in spotlight or it will be in the utilities folder so we needed to give this permission to access this so that's pretty easy just type in chmod space a plus x space and then drag in the start dot command press enter and you should be done uh, if you download the pre-made folder you're also going to need to do that because you won't have permission so just go ahead and double click the start dot command get a few seconds it's going to load up you will get a lot of errors and you know it's going to take a while because it's first generating the world so give it a second do 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 yeah it takes quite a while um while this is happening i'm going to let's see find the where is it start dot command um if you want to add more ram into the start dot command um, right click open it with text edit or um, if you haven't actually made the start dot command yet you can change this to 2g and 2g which will mean it will run with two gigabytes of ram um, instead of one again don't exceed the limit of ram on your computer you can go apple about this mac and you can check how much ram you have on your computer mine has four so i'm I'm fine with one. I usually don't have more than three people ever in my server, but if I'm going to, you know, have a open lobby server or something like that, I will change this to maybe two or three, maybe three, three at the max. You cannot exceed or meet the amount of RAM on your computer. So I'm going to quit that. I didn't change anything. Now, um, for, you can press help or type help and it will show you, uh, all the things you can do, you know, all the little, commands inside the server that you can do to run it so this is going to make it so you can break blocks around your spawn so if you just spawn and you're trying to break a block and it won't let you it's because you're not OP or an admin so you can type in OP and then your name and it will say you're now an OP or you can open up the ops.txt and put your name in there As my name is just in there because I just typed it in so now we're going to stop the server. So we type in stop. Do not just close it. You know, just wait for it to save. If you just close it, it won't save. Okay, so now we are actually going to show you how to connect to the server and whatnot. So you should have Hamachi already installed. Going to open it up and turn it on for the first time. So now you should it should ask you if you want to create or join a, a network. If it doesn't ask you, go ahead and up here and click Network, Create a New Network. Now, this honestly doesn't matter. It shows up um, what you're going to join because it's a little weird when you have to join. You have to join Hamachi and the server itself. So just name this, you know, honestly whatever, and the password can be whatever. You're going to have to remember this so when you're telling the person how to join, they're going to have to know how to join your network. I'm not going to show you how to do it in this video. I have a video already up. It's exactly the same on how to join a craft bucket server then and a regular server so it's exactly the same on joining so once you have all that set up you should see an IP right here if you have a dash right here and numbers and letters after it don't worry you just want the actual IP that's what you want to get so next go ahead and go to your server dot properties right click open with text edit and if it does not show up you can choose other and literally search text edit scroll down and it's right there and choose always open with because you're not going to need to open it with anything else and here you get the commands not really commands but it's just some things that help you customize your server a little bit more um, so we're gonna need to put in the IP so it says server IP type in the IP you see right here above your computer name just type that in Okay, and um, one more thing. 
right here where it says uh, online mode. You need to change this to false if if you are running the cracked version of Minecraft. If it's Minecraft SP, you know, if it's the non-paid version that you didn't pay for, you have to change this to false. And if anyone that's going to join is using the non-paid version. I don't support it, but, you know, it's there. Now, before we go any further, I just noticed that I typed it in wrong. Don't do that. <laughs> so, make sure you type it right. So, go ahead and save it. And quit. So, now, we're going to actually start up the server. There we go. Alright. So, now, we've actually started up the server, and I'm going to open up Minecraft. Can't let you guys see my personal info, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get in here. Multiplayer, add server, or you can direct connect. I'm going to add the server. And then you type in the same IP that your is in your Hamachi. And go ahead and connect. And if you get, um, I'm running a firewall, so if you get this, just make sure you allow it. Ow, that hurt. So here we are, we're in our server. Now, if you can't break any blocks, it's because you're not an OP. So please don't ask me that. I, I get a lot of questions a lot um, about, you know, random stuff. So this is about starting the server yourself. If you want um, advice on joining the server or having other people join, check out my video. I made a direct video just about the subject because I know a lot of people um, ask questions about that so again type stop um, I did make a video about um, joining a server so please go watch that don't um, ask me it because I get tons of messages about I can't or my friend can't join and then I'm like did you watch my video and they said oops and then um, I'm going to do a video on the plugins and stuff next I have never used a craft bucket server before so I don't know how reliable it is, but I've had a lot of requests for it. So this is how you add mod. Well, this isn't how you add mods, but um, I will do that in my next video. So um, without further ado, I would like to thank you for watching. And I do a lot of Max tutorials, Minecraft-related videos. So if you like that kind of stuff, please subscribe. High-quality stuff, as you can see. <laughs> and um, I will have a little annotation thing at the end where you can click on either to have someone join or do the plugins. Now just to be clear when you start up the server if you notice right here it says Minecraft version 1.0.1 1. um, I'm not sure if that's related to the craft bucket or not because I just force updated my Minecraft and it's still 1.0.0 so I'm not really sure what this means. It might be a bug in the craft bucket software I'm not sure but it still works fine I'm not really sure what it is I'm guessing everything will still run the same but, you know, just to clarify, so. Please note that right now this will actually function as a normal server. There is no mods or plugins installed yet, so you're going to have to do that. I will have a video on it. And before any of you comment that um, you can't join, please, it's not as simple as typing in the IP and joining. You're going to actually have to do a little bit more. So I have a video on it at the end of this video, which should be right about now. Um, there's be a little clickable annotation on each side of the screen. You can just choose which video you're going to watch. And, you know, that is all. See you later. Peace.